Now it is uh, top of the US box office, pulling in $54 million so far. On Thursday, The Rise of the Planet of the Apes will be released in the UK. Now, for the first time, a graffiti artist has been commissioned to try and help promote the movie. He's called Arrow, and his unique artwork is turning heads in Brighton already. Caroline Faraday has been down to take a look. People have been writing on walls for centuries, although these spray paintings in Brighton have evolved a long way from ancient Greece or the Roman Empire. This graffiti artist has works across the city. His latest? He was asked to promote new blockbuster film Rise of the Planet of the Apes. I said, oh, well, can I do him, you know, with a cap on and a fat gold chain? And I said, yeah, do what you want. So I did him with a, with a ghetto blaster, and then as we were chatting more and more, it became more obvious that it was you could do whatever I wanted so you know they were getting more and more into the idea of it so I ended up painting the gorilla in a train station being naughty why don't we begin the simian sci-fi movie is released here tomorrow the one thing that maybe it does raise awareness about if you do look for messages in big blockbuster summer movies uh, is that uh, it will raise awareness about animal testing and, and, and the way that we treat animals in that, in that atmosphere. The effects are vastly improved since the rubber ape suits of the 1968 original. These apes are created with state-of-the-art motion capture technology, which made the film an exciting project for Arrow. And with this job, you know, I was really lucky because they let me do whatever I want. So I think it's really strange that I've been interviewed about a painting that not only had fun doing, but got paid for, and, you know, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> it's one of five similar commissions in the UK, and he went bananas to get it painted in eight hours. Oh, that's a bit different, isn't it? Caroline is uh, in Brighton for us now. Caroline, it is a different way of promoting a film. It's all a bit different from when Planet of the Apes first came out in the 70s. <laughs> It really is, yeah, and it's a very different sort of advertising for movies that we're used to uh, generally anyway. Normally when you see an advert for a film, it's on the side of a bus, it's on a billboard, it's big, it's glossy, there's a quote from the film. It doesn't look like this. The commission for this was evolution meets revolution. That's all that Arrow was told. He was asked to visualise the achievements of intelligent apes. This is what he came up with, and it'd be very interesting to see whether other film companies and other advertising agencies choose to follow along with these sort of guerrilla tactics in advertising. Sorry about the puns. Guerrilla tactics, you see? Two bad puns. <laughs> <laughs> Just too good, too good.